She had been left on a spit of land, on the edge of an island, in the middle of the sea, deep in winter, far from home, alone, dropped like a story half told. What good am I? Kay closed her eyes and wished for someone to come get her. She tried to imagine someone, anyone who might hear her. Someone who could reach across worlds and pluck her from the rock where she had been stranded. It was no use. So tell yourself a story. What use am I? A thing only half said. So tell yourself a story. What good? What use? Tell yourself. Thoughts crowded her. Reproaches. Kay tried to run the past few days through her head. She looked out to sea. Her thoughts went in and out from her, uncomprehending, like little waves slapping against rocks. She was the rocks. She tried to focus on the green and implacable water, the cloud shade that hung upon and within it, that conferred on it a dull, mineral mystery like some opaque stone still unquarried and streaked with clay in a cold seat of earth. But her eye, or was it her ear, flitted without direction from the flat and silent sheet of sea, stretching toward the horizon, to the near, kinetic rhythm of the water breaking against the stones of the causeway's rocky head. She was neither one nor the other, Neither the encompassing sea nor the intrusive tide spoke to her in any kind of familiar language. Again, she tried to think through the days that had passed, those few days, those strange and tumultuous days since the night before Christmas, since Christmas morning, when she had raised her leg and, with resolution, placed her heel flat against the frosty slate of the roof outside her window. She had been so resolute, and yet her step had been so light.